A big change in the weather commences today, leading to a very cold ending to the work week and heading into the weekend. This weather briefing will briefly highlight the weather setup, get into forecast specifics, and then highlight some safety information and resources as we head into the another busy holiday weekend. A very strong storm system that has brought heavy precipitation to the Pacific Northwest and a blast of Arctic air to the northern Rockies will continue to dive down into the west, pushing a cold front through the southwest states today. Temperatures both daytime and overnight will take a turn to much colder readings and starting today and lasting through the weekend. The map graphic highlights the forecast Celsius temperatures at 850 millibar surface, which is generally evaluated 5,000 feet above the ground. The cold air mass along and behind the surface front will settle into the region Thursday and Friday, and once skies begin to clear it will lead to some very cold morning temperatures. There will be more on the cloud and precipitation chances in the coming slides. 850 millibar temperatures, again approximately 5,000 feet above the ground, will drop to or below the freezing mark by Friday morning. The precipitation and temperatures impacts from this winter weather system will impact your weekend activities, so take time to prepare and plan now. The initial surge of colder air will filter into the region today along with surface cold front. For the desert locations, expect, expect a slight chance to a chance of rainfall developing midday, mainly east of the Colorado River Valley. Daytime highs will see a 10 to 12 degree drop off from readings earlier in the week, with widespread upper 50s and low 60 degree readings possible. With the frontal passage through the day, expect breezy to locally windy conditions at times. For the mountain locations, rain shower chances are expected through the day while snow levels will begin to drop. Precipitation will eventually turn to a wintry mix in the early evening and overnight hours. Along with breezy to locally windy conditions, daytime temperatures will only warm into the 40s and the 50s. For Thursday across the deserts, precipitation chances will linger mainly to the north and east of Phoenix, possibly down into the foothill locations of the Tonto National Forest, McDowell Mountain Wilderness, and through the higher terrain of northeastern Maricopa County. Daytime highs will see additional cooling, struggling to break the 60 degree mark. Skies will begin to clear Thursday, setting the stage for optimal radiational cooling conditions. Translation. Clear skies and cold air aloft set the stage for very cold mornings. In the mountain and higher elevations north and east of Phoenix, precipitation will change from rain to snow for the most part and continued light snow chances throughout the day. Temperatures during the daytime hours will range from the upper 30s to the low 50s. Here is a trend graphic showing the difference in morning low or minimum temperatures from this morning, Wednesday, compared to forecast values for Saturday morning. Locations across the National Weather Service Phoenix forecast area show anywhere from 10 to nearly 15 degrees cooler morning temperatures for Saturday compared to values this morning. That places forecast value locations throughout the outlying areas of the Phoenix Metro, Wickenburg, Casa Grande, and Quartzsite near freezing to just below freezing. Locations across the higher terrain of southern Gila County as well as the Mogollon Rim and areas near Flagstaff and Sholo could see temperatures 15 to 20 degrees colder than values from this morning. Morning lows by the weekend could range from the single digits to the 20s for the mountainous locations. Here is a quick glance at the latest hazard headlines that have been issued for our forecast area and the region as a whole. There are freeze watches posted from the Colorado River Valley and areas eastward into southern Gila County. A hard freeze warning will cover northwest Arizona including Mojave County. A winter weather advisory along the Mogollon Rim from Flagstaff to Sholo and also a wind advisory covers southeast Arizona and east central Arizona. The outlook for the late week and into the weekend for the mountainous locations will be cold. This is the first significant widespread freeze event of the season starting Friday morning and lasting through the weekend. For the mountain and higher elevation locations, morning low temperatures will range from the low 20s to the low 30s, and the daytime high temperatures will remain from the low 40s to the upper 40s. Travel may be impacted with icy and snow-covered road surfaces, so use caution when traveling on highways. 
Later this week and into the weekend, the outlook for the desert locations will hold on to cooler temperatures and possibly some more rain showers. For the Phoenix metro area as well as the far west deserts near Yuma and El Centro, morning temperatures will dip into the low 30s and low 40s. For colder locations, Pinal County and southwest Maricopa County, mornings will be cooler with temperatures from the mid-20s to low 30s. Daytime temperatures won't get much warmer than the upper 50s and low 60s through the weekend. Here are some winter weather preparedness and safety tips. Know the forecast. Know before you go. Be sure to check the weather forecast and road conditions, especially if you are planning on making a trip out of the deserts and into the high country. Be sure to travel with warm weather gear, including coats, hats, gloves, and warm socks. Bring along extra water and snacks in case of traffic backups in the high country due to road closures or slow going due to difficult road conditions. Closer to home across the deserts, take time to prep your home for our first bout of colder temperatures. Bring pets inside and also protect sensitive plants. Either bring them under an awning and closer to your home or cover them with a sheet or burlap. There is a flurry of activity already on the schedule for the coming weekend, so be sure you are prepared with the right gear and latest forecast when you head out and about. We could see another round of rain and snow chances enter the forecast for the weekend. Stay tuned. Temperatures will be chilly by our desert definition for the big divisional championship game in Tempe this weekend. Checking out any tree lighting ceremonies or holiday light parades? Be sure to dress warmly and for those who are planning on getting their Christmas trees in the high country, certainly pack extra layers and be prepared for very cold conditions in the mountains while you and yours go pick out your perfect tree. Just a few minutes of preparation and coordination now will make your weekend plans go smoothly and safely. Stay up to date with the latest forecast values and hazards this weekend by stopping by the National Weather Service website and the NWS Phoenix office homepage. Be sure to check back with us on our social media networks as we post additional forecast, hazard, and safety information. The Arizona Department of Transportation, as well as other neighboring state transportation agencies, will have road conditions and closure and impact information available on their websites. So be sure you know the weather and road conditions before you go and have a safe and wintry weekend.